I know you guys enjoy a haul, so I'm here today to show you things that I've recently purchased from Jackson's. For this haul, I have used my affiliates that I have gained from you guys purchasing through my link. So thank you so, so much if you have used my link to order your items. If you didn't know, I do have a link in the description box. And if it's your first order with Jackson's, you do get 10% off. So definitely check that out. So we're going to open this box together and you can see all of the goodies that I have bought. a massive haul but I just wanted to share with you what I had purchased through my affiliates. So I got the Talons watercolour brush pens because I thought they would be quite nice to try out. I've gone for the greeny blue colours um, because I do like to draw and paint and work on a lot of botanics so I thought these ones would be a really good option for that. You get five in a pack and I will swatch them in a moment but I thought that these looked really nice and they're really good for an affordable option. They're not light fast but for sketchbook work I thought these would be quite nice to try out. I personally love the Faber-Castell Polychromos so I am building up my collection so I did purchase a few more of their colouring pencils. If you haven't seen my comparison videos on Faber-Castells and other brands then I will link them in the description box because that will give you a good idea on what colouring pencils might be best for you. But one of the things I like about Jackson's is they are quite eco-friendly with their packaging so they have repurposed some of the packaging and they've put my colouring pencils in this box here. A while ago I started a collection of some of the Jackson's own brand watercolours so I added a few more of the Jackson's own brand watercolours to my collection. I think these are a really good affordable half pan. You can get them in a tube and a full pan as well but I've just gone for half pan. I've gone for Jackson's yellow light, a Chinese white. I've also got the permanent sap green and a carmine. So I think all of these colours will be really nice to add to my collection. I didn't go for loads. I do have a video where I tested out the Jackson's own brand watercolours. I will link that video in the description box if you want to see those in a bit more detail. Another item I wanted to try out is this pencil sharpener by Faber Castell. It opens up and there are two sections for your pencils. There's a larger and a smaller so there's a standard and a jumbo section for the pencils and it just conveniently goes back into place and then it opens up as well so you can then remove your sharpenings. I just thought this one would be quite nice to try out with the Faber-Castell Polychromos to see if these ones sharpen to a nice strong point. I'm looking for a good sharpener to use with my Prismacolors because I can't always sharpen them that well with some of the pencil sharpeners that I have. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments what sharpener I should buy for my Prisma colours because that would be really really useful. I also needed to stock up on some watercolour paper. I decided to go for Jackson's own brand watercolour paper. You get 15 sheets in here and it is a cold press paper. It's 300 GSM so nice quality heavyweight paper. It's 12 by 16 inches so it's a really nice good size of watercolour paper. I can cut this down if I need to. I just thought this would be a really good one to try out. I have bought some of their smaller samples before of watercolour colour paper by Jackson's and a few other brands so if you're unsure on what watercolour paper to go for you can test out some samples from Jackson's and they are usually very very cheap as well you can get a little sample pack for 50p sometimes sometimes in their samples you can get things completely free as well I've managed to get paint brushes and things like that completely free on Jackson's as a sample before definitely check out their samples on their website I've had quite a few comments from you guys saying that I should try out the Darwin ink tense colouring pencils so I bought a set of 12 of those to try because I thought they would be really fun to use and I'll give you my thoughts on these colouring pencils. Again, I will swatch them in a bit so you can see what they look like but I just thought a 12 set would be a good way to start out. If I like them, I can purchase more, but I thought I would give these a try. These ones are water soluble, so you can use them with water and you should get a really 
good intense color with them i think these ones will be really really interesting to try out so thank you if you have recommended these ones to me in the past i finally got around to purchasing them let's get started with these ink tense coloring pencils i'm going to swatch them as a color and then i'm going to activate them with a bit of water so we'll have a comparison side by side so i'm going to start with the sun yellow which is number 200 i have been wanting to try these for a while like i said some of you had messaged or commented saying I should try these colouring pencils out so hopefully if you've been thinking about trying them you can see what they're like in today's video and then maybe test them out yourself oh that looks really nice as just a colouring pencil really intense deep yellow now I ordered this two days ago and I had free delivery and it came in so quickly I'm so impressed by Jackson's I'm always really impressed by them whenever I use them um, and I think that the value for money is absolutely really fantastic. I put a poll up recently to see where you wanted me to purchase my art materials from and some of you wanted me to try out some of my local art stores and I do have a couple of really nice independent art stores fairly close by but when I had a look in there, their prices were just too expensive for me at the moment. I decided to stick with Jackson's for now and hopefully I'll be able to purchase some bits and pieces from my local art store in the future. So, so far these colouring pencils do go down really nicely. They feel quite sort of dry when adding them to the paper. They're not sort of buttery like your Prisma colours. They do feel a bit more dry when they go down. I can't wait to see what these look like with the water active. Hopefully you guys enjoy seeing a swatch, but I will do a more in-depth video on these colouring pencils and create a piece of artwork out of it so you can see what they're like. So let's activate these with a bit of water. I'm going to use my Jackson's Quill paintbrush for this one. If you've been here for a while, you know I love these paintbrushes. I just think that they're absolutely fantastic. I'm going to activate the colouring pencil. I'm not going to swatch over the entire thing because I really want to see a comparison between the colouring pencil and the ink. And then we'll try and swatch it out a bit to see if you can pull some of that onto the paper. So by adding the water, you just fill in any little paper gaps that you might be able to see and it pushes it all the way into that paper. And then yeah, you can, you can pull it through onto your paper and it is a really nice vibrant ink effect it's so pretty look at it and it activates so easily as well oh, i think you'll be able to get so many nice effects with these coloring pencils and it looks like once it's dried you'll be able to go over it again with the coloring pencil to add in further details but look at that that's so pigmented so pretty look at those colors now this Jackson's paintbrush does hold a lot of water, so if you don't want them as activated as this, I suppose you could try and reduce the amount of water that you're adding to it. Now these are the colours that I love, these blues. Look at how dark and intense this is. Honestly, that is stunning. They really do pull through a lot of that ink and it is really, really opaque in some areas. It will be interesting to see just how little pencil you need to add to the page in order to create a really nice solid color so i'll test that out in the video that i create on these coloring pencils because i think it's important to really test these to the max really really vibrant they really are intense vibrant colors so the name of these coloring pencils is very fitting Okay, there we go. Those are the colours. At the top here is just the colouring pencil as is and then towards the bottom I added water and then pulled that down to see if those colours would extend beyond where the colouring pencil had actually been used. I will test these out further in a future video so if you want to see that one make sure you subscribe. But I am absolutely blown away. Thank you so much for recommending these colouring pencils to me because I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to try them in more detail. I'm now going to swatch out these brush pens. They do have a nice brush pen nib on them. I'm going to get started on the lightest of the colours, which is this one here, the turquoise green. 
and we will test this out. So it does have a really nice soft nib. This one is 661. I think it's quite an accurate colour to the cap. Maybe with a second layer. Yeah, with a second layer it looks a lot more accurate. Oh, that's such a lovely colour. I really, really do like that colour. That's really pretty. It's not too accurate to the colour of the cap at the moment. But if I add in another layer, we'll see what that looks like. Not quite. Maybe on camera it looks like a good fit. In real life, it's, it's pulling through a lot more green than the actual cap. This one is 602 if you want this particular colour. So now for the bluish green, which is 604. Zero. I think that's quite accurate to the cap. Go over for a second layer so you can see what that looks like. Really pretty colour and very, very vibrant. Okay, now for the fur green, which is 654. I would say this one is almost more of a bluish green. Let's go over with a second layer. Really, really pretty. Last one in the set is 508, and this is the Prussian blue. So with that second layer, you do get a really nice deep blue. I think that the first layer is more accurate to the cap than the second layer because that does run quite dark. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun using these in some of my future videos. Okay, now to test out these watercolors by Jackson's. I really enjoy using these. They are light fast and I think they're a really good affordable option. So we've got that Jackson's light yellow, we've got the permanent sap green, carmine, and then we've got the Chinese whites. So I'm going to swatch these. So that is a very solid white. Obviously you can't see that so well on the page at the moment. So what I'm going to do is swatch that on top of one of the watercolors here, the watercolor brush pans. So you can see that watercolor. Okay, the carmine, let's give this one a go. I will add these to my tin. I've got a little tin full of the Jackson's watercolors. So I will add these ones to that collection very vibrant again these are really really pigmented colors and i think if you're fairly new to watercolors these are a really good option because they are in my opinion quite affordable it's from about two pound fifty again a really nice color i think that will be great for when i'm painting botanicals jackson's yellow light there we go so all very vibrant colors very pigmented i'm impressed with the color of that white although you can't really see it that well on the camera but in person you can see how solid that white is going to be i am impressed with those so we'll sharpen this phthalo blue it's looking like it's got a bit of a dull point i'll open it up so this one will fit in that top section. The bottom one is for the jumbo pencils. Feels like a really good grip on that. Cool. Look at that point. That is a really, really nice point. It's really, really sharp. You can just see how sharp that managed to get it. So I am really impressed with this. I know it's the first pencil I've used on it, but that is such a sharp point. Okay, last but not least is the Faber-Castell pencils. Now I'm adding to my collection and I thought these ones would be nice colors to try out. We'll get started with the Alizarin Crimson. This one looks like a really nice cool toned red. We've also got this burnt carmine, which I think will be really nice to try out. So it's a really nice earthy, pinky toned red. And then a burnt sienna, which I think would just come in really handy. And then for the sort of bluey tones, I've got this sky blue, which is quite similar to one of the other colors within my 24 set, but I just thought this one looked really nice. And it is, it's such a nice blue. Definitely perfect sky blue. We've then got this Helio Turquoise, which is a really rich 
turquoise colour. I really love that. Sometimes with turquoise, I'm not always a huge fan, but that's a really nice, rich, dark turquoise. And then lastly, I've got this violet. So there you guys have it. That was my little order. Thank you so much if you have used my affiliate link in the past. This haul is all down to you. So thank you so, so much. If you want to check out Jackson's yourselves, I do have that 10% discount link in my description box. You just need to take that and it will go straight to Jackson's and apply that automatically for you when you get to the till. If you have enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on any future videos. I'll be testing out all of these products in the future so definitely make sure you subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.